ever feel like you can't escape change management? You know, like yeah. it's everywhere, but are we doing it right? Right. It's like we're stuck in this loop of buzzwords, disruption, optimization, but what do they even mean? Exactly. Yeah. So today, let's shake things up a bit. We're diving deep into Nikki Wheeler's article, Are You Doing Change Management Wrong? Oh, Wheeler's great. She really flips the script. Mm -hmm. It's less about forcing change and more about like understanding how people actually adapt. And she throws you a curveball right off the bat. Yeah. She says resistance can be a good thing. I got to admit, that confused me. Isn't pushing back against change, you know, bad? It seems counterintuitive, right? But think of it this way. When people resist, it often means they actually care. Okay, here's the thing. They're invested in how things are. They might see problems that, honestly, we've missed. So instead of saying, stop complaining, we should be saying, tell me more. Exactly. It's like free feedback, figure out why they're pushing back, and you might even end up tweaking your change, making it better. Makes sense. Mm. But sometimes it feels like change is happening just because, you know, no real purpose. Oh, Wheeler calls that out. She's like, not all change is good change. We mistake motion for progress. Oh, I like that. So constantly evaluate, is this actually making things better? Otherwise, it's just a fresh coat of paint, you know, covering up the same old problems. It's about being picky about change, mm. making sure it matters. And sometimes I think the smallest changes make the biggest difference, right? Totally. Wheeler is all about what she calls incremental change. Little tweaks consistently have more staying power than one big dramatic gesture. Like trying to change your whole life overnight versus like just starting with drinking more water every day. Exactly. People adapt more naturally. And those small changes over time, boom, big transformation. It's like trying to turn a cruise ship versus a sailboat. Smell adjustments are way easier. Perfect analogy. And you know what else she challenges? Our obsession with stability. But isn't stability like what everyone wants? Yeah, we do. But Wheeler says getting too comfortable, it can suffocate you. A little healthy disruption. That's where innovation comes from. So you need that solid ground, but also that willingness to, like, shake things up. Exactly. And what about when things don't work out? Wheeler's view on failure. It's amazing. Oh, she's all about embracing failure, right? 100%. It's not the opposite of success. It's part of the journey. Each mistake, you learn something. You become more resilient. It's like Edison. I didn't fail. I just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Yeah. Think about how many times, like, startups have to completely change before they figure it out. Right. And speaking of figuring it out, Wheeler talks about this over-planning paradox. Oh, yeah. Planning every little detail. So tempting. Right. But too much rigidity. It backfires. Life throws curveballs. It's like planning a road trip down to the minute. You might miss something awesome. You need that balance the roadmap, but also the flexibility to be like, okay, new plan. Right. Because there's no one-size-fits-all approach to change, is there? Nope. Every company, every team, it's all different. You can't just use the same playbook and expect it to work. You got to adapt to the context, the culture, the people. Otherwise, it's like trying to like fit a square peg in a round hole. <laughs> just doesn't work. Exactly. It's about understanding the people involved. What are their values? What do they need? That's how you get buy-in. So it all comes back to the people. That's a theme well, with Wheeler, right? Mm -hmm. Bringing everyone along on the journey. Absolutely. Change needs participation. Mm -hmm. When people feel heard, empowered, they own the change. Instead of just being told this is happening. Right. And even then, Wheeler reminds us to honor what's ending, acknowledge what we're letting go of. Because even good change can be bittersweet. Right. Thank exactly. You. you have to acknowledge that sense of loss to move forward. So to wrap this up, it seems Wheeler's thing isn't about rigid rules. It's more about like a mindset, right? Adaptability, communication, always learning. Totally. It's about being okay with the unexpected, different perspectives. Sometimes navigating change means challenging what we think we know about change. So if you think about Wheeler's ideas, ask yourself, what do you believe about change management? And are you ready to maybe challenge that? Mm -hmm.